So this is going to be my uh, sleeping quarter for tonight. I'll be heading over to the Oregon coast and uh, maybe cook something tonight, maybe some chicken wings, something simple. And then uh, I might go dig some sand trim tonight at low tide as well. And then in the morning, I'm going to go find a place to fish for some, uh, some rockfish or kelp greenlings, perch, whatever. So, and then hopefully I might have something that um, I catch and I, I will cook it up like a catch and cook, fish and cook, whatever. And uh, it's gonna be a fun day. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's go camping. So it's gonna be a 120 mile trip to the coast and I will let you know what the gas mileage is gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be a kind of little bit of mountain road to get through the mountain pass to the coast. So the gas mileage might not be as good as the, on just on the freeway. So we'll see. So that's the bay and we have driven 126 miles with 36.5 mpg so not bad right i mean it's not as good as the 40 miles mpg from uh, portland to seattle but for you know driving in the mountains and some stops and goes traffic along the way that's pretty good so i'm gonna go uh take some sandstrom for tomorrow and uh, for the fishing part. And then after that, I'm gonna cook up some some food. You know, I, I'm gonna be hungry, right? After some digging sand shrimp, so. I think I'm gonna cook first and eat and then go dig some sand shrimp so that I can kind of work off some of the food I eat before I go to bed. How's that, huh? The lift gate handle is perfect for hanging a headlamp so that I can use it as a uh, sort of a, a lantern to light up my uh, dinner table which I'm gonna set up right here all right some three marinated chicken wings Lead on so it cooks faster. About fry it, huh? Pure protein, huh? All right, time to eat. Oh man. Mmm, cooked just perfectly. So I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna go take sense room. Let's go. That was a great meal. I feel energized and uh, I'm ready to take some sense room for fishing tomorrow. <laughs> oh, two. Oh. Oh. Pretty easy. Okay, let's another one. So I got more than enough to go on. Oh yeah, good digging. All right, climbing 
Uh, close the door behind me. Okay, so guys, I got my blinds behind me. And it's pretty dark in here. Not a lot of light coming in. So, yeah, I got my cooler next to me. I got... <clears throat> I got uh, my battery charger right here and uh, if any situation should arise I'm just gonna jump in the driver's seat and get out of here so this is the good thing about camping inside a car instead of like say in a truck bed the truck bed I have to like get out of the truck bed to get into the driver's seat but if I'm in a car if anything happens, I can just jump in the, the driver's seat, start the car and drive away. Well, of course I have, you know, personal protections, equipment as well. So, but it's always good to know that you can just get away at moment's notice. All right, guys, good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh man, 6.30. It's uh, pretty nice outside, really calm, and it's not cold at all. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Wow. Looks like a nice calm day for some fishing, right? So I'm gonna brush my teeth and make some coffee. <sighs> Whew. So I met up with a friend and we're gonna do some fishing right here on the cliff. So gotta be careful <laughs> not to fall down. Nice. Sandstrom and dropper, my favorite rig. Yeah. Fish on. Oh yeah. Oh, small one. Tiny one. Oh, the small Greenling. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. That one's going back. All right. See you later. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, big one. Oh, my goodness. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Holy crap. It's heavy. Oh.
Uh, that's a cabazon, but yum, very low, man. That is a cabazon, but right now it's not legal to keep, so must let them go. Uh. Nice cabazon. See ya. Okay, that was my lunch. It's not a big one, but it's lunch. That's lunch for me. Catch and cook. Kelp Greenling. Oh yeah. Got one. Oh, nice. Woo. Lunch again. This is a nice one too. That's a nice lunch. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Good one. Oh, that's nice. That's a beauty. Number three. That's a beautiful fish. Look at that, huh? Wow. Whew. Oh, a rockfish. Nice. I got a black rockfish. That's gonna go for my lunch too. Wow. Nice. The rockfish. Woohoo. That's a nice perch. Woo. That's a big perch. Wow, that is a big boy. That's a nice perch, huh? All right, guys, that was a great day. Although it's kind of winter, it's kind of slow fishing, but I still caught quite a bit of fish and then throw away a lot of smaller ones, uh, keeping a few uh, good sized greenlings and one rockfish. And then the cabazon is not allowed to keep until like June, so that was thrown away. It's kind of a, you know, whatever, you know, that's life, right? So, uh, so I'm gonna go cook it up now. It's lunchtime. Let's go. Get my pans and pots and uh, cook up the fish. Maybe some avocado on the side, some bread, and a good meal. I'm gonna probably go right there sea bass, some seasoning, some bread for toast, avocado, avocado oil, the stove, and a million dollar view.
wash it a little bit. Wash off the uh, dirty stuff. Clean it up a little bit. Some oil on it. Coat it for yeah. Nice and crusty. I think they're ready. Look at that, huh? A little toast. Try that, huh? Mmm. Oh, that fish is so delicate. All right, guys. It just does not get any better than that, right? A beautiful, calm winter sunset at the beach with some good food. <laughs> 